how we are going to discuss the entire syllabus of our course. So actually I have divided the entire syllabus in six units. Our first unit will be introduction to Python programming. In this unit, first we are going to see some basic concepts regarding programming. Then we'll proceed to the basics of Python programming. Then we are going to see the important features of Python language. Then we are going to install the Python. And after installation, we are going to see our first program in the Python language. After that, we are going to see the first logical concept known as variables in Python. And with variables, we are also going to see the concept of identifiers. Then we are going to see input operation means here in this topic, we are going to learn that how to accept input means data from the end user. Then we are going to see how to give comments in the Python language. Then an important aspect known as indentation, we are going to learn after that. And at the end of this unit, we are going to see the different operators provided by Python for performing different operations. And we are also going to see how to form an expression using those operators. Then we'll proceed to the unit two, decision control statements. In this unit, initially we are going to learn selection of conditional branching statements like if, if else, nested if, if elif else, etc. Then we are going to see the basic loop structures or iterative statements provided by Python. And these are while and for loop. Then we are going to see how to select an appropriate loop for a particular task. Then we'll proceed to the nesting of loops, means writing a loop inside another. And then we are going to see some standard keywords given by Python to use in loops. These keywords are break, continue, pass, else, etc. At the end of this unit, we are going to see some important data types or data structures provided by Python to store multiple elements. And these data structures are tuples, lists, and dictionaries. Then we'll proceed to the unit three functions and models in which initially we're going to see that what is the function is exactly. Then we're going to see what is the need of a function. Then we will see how to define a function, how to give call to it. Then variable scope inside and outside the function. And then we will see how to return a value through function. Then we'll proceed to two important topics, Lambda and anonymous function in Python. After that, we are going to see the important concept of models. And after learning model, we will proceed to the packages concept in Python. Then we'll proceed to the unit four, say strings. Initially in this unit, we are going to learn strings and operations such as concatenation, appending, multiplication and slicing. Then we'll see what is the concept of string immutability. Then we're going to see some built-in methods of functions provided by Python for handling the strings. Then we'll see slice operation in and not in operators. And we'll see how to compare two or more strings. Then we'll see how to iterate a string, means traverse the string, or we can say visit each and every character of a string. Okay. Then our next unit will be object oriented programming. In this unit, initially we are going to learn the important features of object oriented programming. And then we'll proceed to the important object oriented programming concepts such as classes, objects, encapsulation, abstraction, 
inheritance polymorphism and containership and then we'll proceed to the last unit say file handling in this unit initially we are going to see the basic concept regarding file then we'll see that what is the path of a file then we are going to see some types of files then we are going to perform some basic operations on the file such as say opening a file and closing a file then we'll see how to read data from a file and how to write data in the file 